Hey everyone, Tim here with Weigh the Rope. I'm currently at Strengthside headquarters with the man himself. What's up guys, Josh here, yes. chilling. First off, my first question, which I like to find out from people, is what is your, I guess this can go anywhere, what's your favorite pattern or pa what are your go-to patterns? Well, first off, I'd say like underhand, matador. Uh, usually this is always just gonna be my pattern that I go to when I pick up the rope if I'm, you know, maybe warming up for like a training session or if I'm taking a break from work and I just wanna kind of chill on the rope a little bit and get some movement in my hips and my spine, I always just start here, right? Nice, yeah. Sometimes a... this is all I do, but sometimes this is gonna <laughs> lead me into like a bigger session, you know? You know I'm big on that. I just love the weight shifting element and everything about yeah. that, yeah. Really good pattern. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's easy, why I love it too. Easy and just feels good. Nice, any others? Here's more of a pattern that I play with, I like to like look in a mirror here. Yeah, let's do it. I like a mirror too. Yeah, a mirror's nice, right? And this is just one that I've found that like really helps me kind of open up my spine. So I get into like a overhand sneak kind of back and forth, right? So people that are familiar with this overhand sneak, but keeping the feet facing forward. And then I just gradually try to open up more and more. And I look in the mirror so I can see if I can, like how much of my shoulder blades I can see, basically. So the more I start really opening up and twisting my spine, yeah. then the more I can see my back in the mirror here, you get a nice little sneak around the side. It just feels really good for my body, especially if I've like maybe been sitting for a long time or maybe after like some strength training when the, the spine's all, stiff mm. and then and then i get in there and i'm just like no 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 we're gonna open up open up we're gonna loosen up some overhand alternating overhand sneak alternating overhand sneak lovely feet, uh feet stay concrete grounded not moving the, the feet yeah wonderful man yeah yeah two and that's one overhand and one underhand pattern which i really like so your body you've naturally found those variations yep um are there any flows then? I guess it's kind of one we've been playing with, but yeah, any flows to share with the people that you, you go to once you're moving a little bit more, your feet, your weight shifting, you're going from overhand to underhand. Yeah. What do you like to hit then? Yeah, so flow, like a consistent flow that I always come back to. So we saw um, Wex, uh, one favorite one, pattern. Yeah, 117. 117, uh, which I think is lovely. And then Tim came here. We played with Cali Roll, which is very similar to that, just kind of emphasizing um, a different place. Yep. So was kind of ace, home run. Yeah. Ace, home run, right? And you can play with, forth, boom. You can play with different amount of beats on each side. Yeah. But essentially, those are the two movements that we're moving through, right? Yep. So one that I kind of naturally go with that's similar, but I let my underhand sneak right here, set up my ace right here, right? And I like to go just kind of nice and slow and fluid through this. So we go sneak, ace, uh, come back. Nice. Sneak, ace. And then another one that I find really nice is just to let that spin you like in a 360. So I do my I do my sneak, I go ace, and then I oh, straight through try to with hit it. that right yeah. back to the sneak, right? So nice. boom, boom, boom. My right oh, foot actually kind of stays still the whole time. I'm just pivoting. So it's like just sneak, ace, pivot. That's it, boom, round, sneak. back to sneak, ace. Cool. Right. Dude, it's, it. it's kind of like an infinity drill, right? You can just keep going, get yeah. super dizzy <laughs> if you do it too hard. Dude, I love that. That's plenty, to, plenty shared. <laughs> yeah. a nice few bases covered with that. Thanks for sharing. Cool. My next question then, brother, is any tips you've got for people who are maybe their first session on the rope or they've been doing the rope for a couple of weeks, doing the basic patterns and they want to progress from there? Any, any tips to give the people? Yeah, if you're looking for progression, I think the, the rope really lends itself to high frequency. Uh, so what I mean by that is, you know, commit to picking up your rope every day or every other day. And it doesn't have to be like, oh, I'm going to do the rope for an hour today. It could just be like, OK, I'm going to get my rope and I'm going to work for five minutes, you know, and you just kind of keep that in your body. And 
I was amazed at how I'd try to learn a pattern and I'd just be like, oh man, you know, that's so hard. Like, I don't know if I'll be able to get that. And the very next day I come back to it and I'm like, oh, my hand just went to right where I wanted it to go now. Like, you know, just it, it, it yeah. unfolds quickly. I think that's a nice thing about the rope is that you can learn things quickly. There's not like this, like calisthenics it's going to take you you know six months to learn like a handstand or something like mm. you can get in there you can learn stuff quick you can feel the benefits in your body um so yeah the tip would be when i i got super obsessed with the rope and i did it like 30 days in a row probably and i saw just really good progress and then even now like even if i'm not super into like oh i want to learn new patterns or i want to like learn new flows i still just try to do like five minutes on the rope every day, you know? Great. I think that's a really good tip. And yeah, so the accessibility of it lends itself, like you say, on the road, easy to, easy to pick up and go. That's right. Um, and then finally, third and final question. I mean, we just made a video on Josh's channel about this and kind of the benefits Josh found of the rope. So you shared a lot on that. So I definitely encourage everyone to go and check that video out. I'll link it down below. But anything aside from kind of what was mentioned in that video, any other benefits you noticed, things we, you know, because in one video, the ropes, you could make a, two hour video on, on the rope and yeah. just about start to cover it. But uh, yeah, is there any other things that weren't mentioned in that video that you could mention as like benefits, things you notice? Yeah, I mean, the, like one of the things I really love about the rope is just how you can train athleticism, but not through high impact training, you know? And that's pretty rare to see. Uh, so yeah, yeah. like I've had ankle injuries, I've had knee injuries, but I can keep this like nice playful athletic you know pivoting weight shifting all this in my body through the rope and then on the other end of the spectrum it's like say for instance you're training parkour or you're climbing you're doing things that are taking a lot of energy from you then you can use the rope which isn't going to take a lot of energy to kind of keep you healthy to you know you had a hard session yesterday or even earlier in the day you use some rope to kind of loosen up your body get your get your blood flowing, you know, get these nice ro this nice rotation of your spine and pivoting and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. So I think, I, yeah, I think like that's one of the huge benefits I've seen with the rope is just it's low impact. You can use it to kind of fit your own training and your own lifestyle and not, and we're all not like super healthy all the time. So could, uh, could oh, I, yeah. uh, let me share one more benefit. Yeah. One more benefit that I've seen with the rope that I, I've noticed in like a lot of my athletic endeavors is it teaches you almost how to do less. Like when you first pick up the rope, you're like, oh, uh, like trying to like use your arms a bunch and like you're just like really like effortful, right? Yeah. And that's how you see people start doing like a lot of exercise, but then you see the more efficient that you get at a movement pattern or with a tool, it's like really like you're doing a lot less and just things are kind of happening with you just doing these like really minimal, minimal movements. Subtle, like little Subtle. movement, yeah. Right, and then it, it looks better too. It starts to look more aesthetic and you see people that are really good at the rope or just any athletic endeavor and it just like looks easy for them. Yeah. And that's one thing I found with the rope is like do less. You're not gonna be able to start there. But, the, but do less, things feel better, things look better. Mm. Yeah, I think that's a really wonderful point that's not mentioned enough. We, we say efficiency, but I think that's a really good way to summarize and, and point out efficiency. Yep. Awesome, man. I think that's, you've left us with plenty to, to think about and, and play with there. I don't want to assume that my audience knows your stuff. I really yep. would recommend, if you don't know Josh, his YouTube channel, Strength Side, shares tons of really good, uh, in-depth mobility routines. He's a seeker. He's constantly evolving what he's training. One thing I really feel strongly about with StrengthSide is like exploring movement and that every, every tool can be beneficial in that, you know, there's no bad movement. Yeah, I think like me and Tim can get together and play with a lot of things because of that. Yeah, so definitely if you don't know his page, you haven't checked it out, check that out as well. Way of the Rope, honored to be on the channel. Yay. I've been doing rope for about a year and a half now and yeah. man, I love it. So. Thanks. You guys are in the right spot. As uh, Shiloh <laughs> over here. Want some playtime? You want to go how? <laughs> ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>